welcome to my intro to my mental health series. Um, I've done two and I realised that actually it's something I'm really passionate about and I wanted to share a bit more of my experience um, and why on earth am I actually filming these. So to be honest when I was thinking about um, filming this video I filmed it three or four times and then I was like okay I'm just gonna get frustrated. I'm gonna do it on another day because as we all know if we you know I can get really stressed and anxious um so yeah um I just decided to write I'm gonna do it on another day and um here is that other day um so basically I wrote three questions to myself as to why on earth I want to film these and like actually why um yeah why do this so my first question to myself is why is it important to me and one of the main things um for me about mental health is um Obviously I've experienced um, certain issues and um, yeah, I just want to really help other people through that experience because for me, um, obviously I've been through things which I'll, I will go through in a minute, um, but I, I don't want to just do nothing with it because I know how it feels and if you've never had a mental health issue, it is so difficult to understand. Um, if you've never, you know, had anxiety and you've not got a care in the world, it's really difficult to understand why on earth someone's worrying, um, or really anxious, having panic attacks, things like that. And so I feel it's really important, um, to, you know, let, let people who are going through things, you're not alone. And I think that was partly what I found so difficult when I went through it because I felt so alone. Um... And so this is partly why I'm doing this, um, because it is, I find it debilitating when I am, am having issues, um, because I still get days where I struggle and I really just, I don't know how to cope, um, is the best way to say it. And I feel like I can't live properly, I feel that I've got a half life, um, and it just, I just don't feel alive. It's like the world is in black and white when it should be in colour. Um, and it's normally in colour, thankfully for me now. Um, but yeah, so what did I experience? That was another question that I asked myself. I'm like, you know, actually thinking about it because I've done anxiety, I've done depression. Um, one of the things that actually I did experience and um is an interesting one because it's I, I'm gonna do a video on this um was self-harm because it's not just the physical self-harm yes I personally did physically self-harm um but also it was um well it's not just sort of um to be crude you know a, a blade on on skin um but actually other things so I drank to hurt myself because I felt I didn't deserve a good life or I I deprived myself of food or um and when I say deprive myself of food um I have never experienced um any um uh like eating disorder so although I say that, obviously I have never experienced that. So that is one thing I will say I, I've never experienced. Um, but other things like shopping, you know, I would spend, spend, spend. And actually I find that a form of self-harm because uh, in a way that partly contributes to the food thing because I, want, I needed to get that escape, that rush of adrenaline that I got when I was shopping. So I'd sacrifice food for that. Um... And things like that um so i mean that one i will do a video on more in depth of my experience um i uh, on the back of anxiety um i experienced panic attacks which i think i mentioned in my video um obviously depression i think i mentioned anyway um and one of the things that doesn't get enough sort of um I don't know what the word for it is here, but enough sort of exposure as to it being a mental health problem, I personally feel, is perfectionism. Um, we live in a culture, or I live in a culture personally, in the UK, where 
it's very difficult to make mistakes and um, it's very hard environment to um, to not be perfect and if, if we're less than perfect it's not okay but the thing is none of us are perfect and actually we cannot hold ourselves to a standard that we can never achieve and it it's almost like this consumerism thing where um you know we're constantly wanting more and more but there's never going to be a level that we're gonna achieve and in a way yes life is a journey but it's not a journey of impossible feats it's a journey of impossible feats that we can manage and when i say that i mean um you know dream big i don't mean um you know oh i want e absolutely everything that i could buy in the like the world you know that is impossible whereas you know dreaming big i want to make a difference that you can do um and you know it's a positive impact instead of a negative impact um but yeah like um i think the last question i asked myself was why am i telling the world um, because obviously I'm putting this on YouTube, um, and obviously the whole world's probably not going to see it, but you know, if if I can help one person, that's great. Um, I think I mentioned it briefly at the start, I really want to help others, and I just want to, um, you know, say you're not alone, because that's something that, as I said earlier again, um, I, I felt a lot with... Um, struggling with mental health and um yeah I think that is something that I'm really passionate about because um there's so many of us um that have had things and I mean one of the groups I'm on which I totally recommend if you do uh feel like you want anyone to talk to or just someone to understand your mental health um is Ellie Friends which is run by Mind it's an online support group it's really great um and it's kind of like Facebook, but for mental health. So it's specific to mental health. Um, you can be like, I've had a really pants day. Is anyone around to talk or anything like that? And um, people are so nice on there because there's just this level of understanding. Um, but yeah, so that was really good. I'd recommend that. Um, but yeah, I'm not gonna ramble on anymore for this video uh, because it's just the intro. <laughs> Well, I have talked for ages, so. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's kind of why I want to do this series. Um, I'm also going to film maybe after this video um, why minimalism is so important because I do feel it affects mental health as well, which is why I'm doing my minim Minimalist Mondays or Minimalism Mondays series. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching and um, hopefully I will see you in a video. Um, my next video about my experience of mental health but thank you and bye